At NVIDIA, we've been working hard to bring neural rendering to the next level. And today, I'm here to tell you about our latest breakthrough in real-time graphics, DLSS 3. Making DLSS 3 required all of NVIDIA working together because it has hardware co-designed with software in order to create this new capability. The NVIDIA Ada Lovelace architecture powers the neural networks behind DLSS 3 and is supported by RTX 4000 series GPUs. DLSS 3 has three main software components. The first is DLSS Super Resolution. We are continuing to develop DLSS Super Resolution for all GeForce RTX gamers, and it's a core part of DLSS 3. The second component is DLSS Frame Generation, where we use optical flow acceleration and neural networks to create additional frames to increase smoothness. DLSS 3 can boost performance by an additional 2x through frame generation over DLSS 2, or 4x compared with brute force rendering alone. The third software component is NVIDIA Reflex, which synchronizes the CPU and GPU in order to keep FPS high while significantly lowering latency. It turns out there's a lot of latency in a traditional game rendering system because we're queuing up work for the GPU in order to keep the FPS high. We call this the render queue. With NVIDIA Reflex, we're able to zero that out and reduce system latency by up to 2x. Here's an example of DLSS 3 settings in a game UI. Super Resolution is independently selectable and continues to be available for all RTX gamers. When you select frame generation and enable it, you're also enabling NVIDIA Reflex. DLSS 3 is also powered by three hardware components. First, our fourth generation tensor cores provide up to 1.4 petaflops of AI, which is necessary in order to run multiple neural networks simultaneously to generate frames and do super resolution in DLSS 3. The second component is Optical Flow Accelerator, which provides more than twice the throughput of older generations while also increasing quality. This is essential for the frame generation task. Third, we have our NVIDIA AI Supercomputer, which is running at over an exaflop of AI performance in order to train DLSS models and improve image fidelity and motion quality. So you may be asking, what is the Optical Flow Accelerator and why do we need it? The Optical Flow Accelerator analyzes two sequential frames and computes an optical flow field that describes how pixels in the first frame are moving in order to create images in the second frame. We need the optical flow field because we're trying to move objects between frames. We use optical flow in conjunction with geometric motion vectors from the game. Each of them has complementary strengths that can help us generate high quality frames. But the decision about when to use each for different parts of the scene is quite complicated. To solve this, we train the DLSS frame generation AI to make use of both optical flow and motion vectors in order to generate the highest quality intermediate frames. The Frame Generation AI network generates an intermediate frame with accurate geometry and effects, which we then interleave between traditionally rendered frames. Between super resolution and frame generation, DLSS 3 uses neural rendering for seven out of every eight pixels on screen. By using AI for such a large portion of the work, DLSS 3 is able to provide dramatic speedups of 4x or even more, especially for games that use the highest quality visual effects like full ray tracing. DLSS 3 can also overcome CPU boundedness. GPUs are getting so fast that sometimes the FPS becomes limited by the speed of the CPU. But DLSS 3 can generate new frames independently of the CPU, which means that we can get up to 2x speed up even in CPU bounded situations. DLSS 3 further pushes the limits of real-time graphics with amazing FPS, low latency, and great image quality. In the past few years, over 200 games and applications have integrated DLSS 2 to increase frame rates and improve image quality. And DLSS 3 is one of our fastest ramping gaming technologies ever. We're excited to announce that over 35 games have already started integrating DLSS 3, with many more to come. With DLSS 3, Neural Graphics is really hitting its stride, enabling new frontiers of amazing ray trace graphics and improving system efficiency. This breakthrough is made possible by years of research and development from all across NVIDIA. It's been a labor of love, and those of us who've been playing with DLSS 3 enabled think it's the most amazing gaming experience. We can't wait for you to see for yourselves.